cleaning. Chain. Check. Rear thrusters. Check. Picnic basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Yeah, I'm getting a bit curious of the UVA. Yeah, oh, come on. Uh, hmm? Okay, apparently my webcam decided to cut it out again right in the middle of all of this, so give me a second to reconnect that. <laughs> Live, everybody! And yeah, people have noticed an extra voice this time. And no, that doesn't mean that I've gone extra insane. Uh, no, that only means you've gone slightly insane. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is a bit uh, off, out of the usual. And let me first... Come on. Yeah, I'm working with... Uh, this isn't with an emulator. I'm actually working with a full remote here. And I hope that me having to go back some doesn't affect the audio quality too much. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Helene here along with... Drakir! And... Hi, I'm Rum. Rojal, but you may call me Rom. Yeah, Rom <laughs> is a friend from a, a Discord server that we've been watching uh, Stargate SG-1 with along for about a month now or so. Perhaps about a month. month. I, I think maybe longer. A uh, couple of yeah, months he, at least. Yeah. Uh, he asked if we, he could join in on a stream as a third voice at some point, and, well, I, figured, I finally got to... <laughs> Yeah, I finally got to testing out the capture card with everything I have. Well, everything I have available easily. The Switch here, the PlayStation, and the Wii U. So, yeah, this is a Genki Shadow... Uh, uh, is it? A Genki Shadowcast, not Shadow Capture or something. That's uh, running through a Wii... That's recording a Wii U, playing a Wii game. And one that I've been wanting to play for a long ass time, but on my original Wii, it for some reason it could never read the disc. It could, but eventually it just refused to stop and play it. So, what better thing to test this with? And well, the other two voted for this you know, as well. So technically, yeah. I was half voting between this and Uncharted Four. Yeah, but Metroid One. So here we are. Uh, going to need to sit back even further into my freaking beds because otherwise, the, the closer I am with the Wii mode, the less accurate it gets. And also, I, we have a sort of fourth commentator here, as in that ink is sleeping behind the box. <laughs> is your dog there? No cat. <laughs> oh, your cat's there. An identified distress beacon has been tracked to the relic space vessel of rid of all talent for. In the vast universe, the history of humanity is but a Oh my god, we have a fucking narrator. The life of a single person should be lost in space and time. But among the stars, there is one light that burns brighter than all others. The light of Samus Aran. Her battles extend beyond her life and etch themselves into history. Here, another chapter of that history will be written. Okay, now you see on the landing, Samus, we don't want it to, to smash the gunship again. Okay, here we go. And hey, she's packing her various suit. It is her most iconic look after all. Yeah, she's also remembered in case of heat, I should probably bring the suit that prevents that from killing me. Yeah, unlike in other M. 
And there we go. Full control. And yeah, originally this game came out, or Metroid Prime came out on the uh, the GameCube. And uh, well, it <laughs> it was pretty much considered a classic right off the bat because uh, yeah, they they managed to jump Metroids from 2D to 3D perfectly. And yeah, now we get to the scan visor. Which will Turns be out Retro box. Studios knew what the fuck they were doing. Yeah. Control panel on the pillar and this room can turn it off. There we go. I did play a bit to check the controls and such. And I probably should remove the pen that's laying in front of the sensor bar. Even though it's actually only the sides of it that actually use it. The problem and, with yeah. Pen Island. Let's block the entrance. Yeah. And we just hit all of the targets and we can move on. Come on. Yeah, say what you will about the Wii and motion controls, like. Personally, I think there is no better way to play a Metroid game like this, or a first-person Metroid game. You are literally just pointing around with Samus' arm cannon. True. And yeah, we're going to just do everything we can. Again, who coats their doors to open when shot at? Some text here. I'm pretty sure we can't return it's to this place that. afterwards. Or the shot just nullifies his lock. I mean, that's the one way. Environment unstable. Alright. And then we enter the airlock here, and we have something floating along with us here that we can't scan. Oh, good, a dead gold. <laughs> Yeah, and even the good old can't stand against uh, Samus' might. I'm pretty sure she'd give this Doom Slayer a run for their money, even. Uh, yeah. Some creepy crawlies. I don't know, I like to think that she and the Doom Slayer would get along fine. Yeah. <laughs> Who the hell, they'd probably team up. <laughs> and, uh, hello there. So you can already tell experiments have gone completely wrong. Yep. And right over here, biohazard materials phase on batch. Yeah, right from the start, this stuff showed up. And people who play through the entire trilogy, or at least corruption, will know where the hell that is going. Yay. Is that a Metroid or something else? Nope, it's technically worse than Metroids. Now this shows incredible large muscle structures surrounding the jaw area. Fluid, something about fluid sacs containing acid are also detected. Yeah, this thing was a nasty piece of work. Morphology unknown, info high levels of radiation detected. Because of course... Well, hopefully Samus' suit also acts as hazmat here. Yeah. Space pirate status death caused by severe flame damage to exoskeleton. This guy was burned so, alive. He got yeah, he got cooked alive. Yeah. And this one death caused by severing of the spinal cord. And that yeah. one just can no longer ice skate anymore. <laughs> oh, I think I remember something about space pirate. Like the only call of space pirate was well. They refuse to identify themselves. Yeah. And I th yeah, they do a lot of piracy. I think they're all space pirates because they all decided collectively, you know what, fuck it, we're gonna be space pirates. Yeah, all right. and basically, yeah, I mean, space pirates. I mean, don't check it, but it, it, they're calling them space pirates because they refuse to tell. You know, you refuse to open communication of who they are, then yeah, you would have to make up a name to do, tell who they are for all those. Yeah, and it's better than those assholes that refuse to identify themselves. 
crew. Yeah. At least here we know who the fuck they are. Yeah, so you tell someone space pirate, they know, oh yeah, th those mysterious mad people. Oop. Yeah, they're gonna, yeah, this is going to mystery. And what the Double tap them. Yep, this one's... This one's being an idiot. Alright, Let's see, what else have we here? Escape pass 3, 4, and 7 launched. Coordinates Talon 4. Okay, longitude. Yeah, 110 length. What would, what would the second the L be? Research Command Center. Okay. So, longitude, latitude, and longitude. Ah, yeah, that. Tail section possesses a mouth like orifice, most likely used for birthing offspring. Okay, so we're basically dealing with uh, the alien green light here. Yay. Phase on batches. Let's see. Yeah, this guy was. Yeah. <laughs> His freaking skull caved in. Yeah, I can tell he already died. <laughs> By. There we go. So. <laughs> Wii games can be played the Wii U. Yep. Oh, hello there. Didn't know that. Yeah, but GameCube game games cannot be. So for that, I'd have to look, dig up the old Wii. The heck is this? Clean it up. See if there's anything in the. Okay, we should be able to fit through this with the morph hall. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was a guess at what button that was. Step into hologram to download the map. Okay, first get scan off because there, there is a bit of a completionist thing in this game. To research map station. Walk into the map station holograms to download a map of the area. Really. They are useful of course. What I want to ask is how the hell does Stemma's like she goes to a place, she jams her arm cannon into the thing and then suddenly downloaded. Basically, it's a cannon and a USB stick as well. That's the most hardcore <laughs> USB stick ever. <laughs> okay, quite a bit left to this place. Okay, anything more? Just this here. Make it exterior hall stable and fully functional. Uh, Telling for ground zero area secure crater radiation readings normal. Yeah, veterans of the ser of the Prime series will know what that is. Parasitic infestation has been detected in the ventilation systems of Deck Gamma and Beta. Of course, two parasite queen specimens have become volatile on Deck Beta. All security personnel should report to the biotime research area. Yeah, there are multiple of those things. Yay! Yeah, so why the hell would they keep this place accessible only through a crawl space? Yeah, I was about to ask that. Why is it that the fucking security room is only accessible through the vent system? It would make sense if that made a, you know, broken door perhaps? That forced you to use it, but I didn't see one. Beta access, and now the elevator's on. Mm, there we go. I, I didn't originally manage to play this game or Metroid Prime 2 because the, my trilogy disc just stopped working or refused to work with my Wii for some reason. But I did play through the entirety of Corruption, and I'd say that's probably my favorite Wii game. Honestly, I kind of just, I don't have any Wii games anymore. My brother did a really stupid thing with the in, with a copy of Lego Indiana Jones game that I had where he like stuck it in upside down 
and we had to pry it out with a fucking with tweezers which scratched up the disc. And ruined the entire thing, probably? Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, the, oh. Then at what? some point, I'm not entirely sure why he decided to stick a pair of coins into the Wii. I'm guessing his uh, age could be counted in the single digits. No, that was years ago. It, he's now like 13, so yeah, he's okay. gotten better about that. And another that was like why years ago. Your fucking stuff behind it. Us, <laughs> just lock your valuable stuff up away from the stupid kids. Yeah. Right now, the only thing that my Wii is doing is gathering a bit of dust because I don't have the cash to buy new Wii games. Like, admittedly, corruption is available if I want to, like, purchase it. Because there's a store, and that's not too far from where I live that's also selling that. But I'm not just looking for, like, Metric Prime corruption, also kind of looking for a bunch of different games, like, I don't know, fucking, like, no more heroes and whatnot. Okay. I kind of want to make a collection of Wii games so I have more than just a couple of games to play, like, I have for, like, I have a bunch of PS3 games, PS4 games, Xbox games. Resistant, resilient. Uh, yeah, I have a, I have a good collection on the left over there. Uh, very said egg and porous in Cuba State. Be right back. Okay. Take it from his mother's acidic and bionic fluid. Okay. I guess when you get the placenta, it melts you. Yeah. Uh, corrosive bile. Combat mutation applications are complete. Primary legs of this creature possess galvanized tips allowing it to penetrate any known alloy. Yeah. Yeah, good, good job giving it extra ways to kill you, and I'm nuts. And <laughs> now they've yeah. gotten loose. No, well, one is still here. If hibernating. But uh, you know how this goes with many games and shows. If it's chilled in the tank, it's going to break out. Yeah. Let's do the security hall. What's the difference? Hey, dumb question. And sorry if I come off as a jackass. How long are you planning to stream? Uh, typically, I stream for two hours. Uh, you're free to jump out early if wanted. It's, it's mostly just uh, to see if this works enough or not. Yeah, it's fine. Look, it's just that I. I haven't exactly slept at all. It's not even because of the whole stream thing. I just, I don't know. I can sleep. Okay. I have to take my pills, so I'm got So the second I hit the bed, I know I'm just gonna black out for like the entire morning. Uh, go ahead and sleep. It's better than uh, forcing yourself to sit through this. Yeah. Either way. Maybe some other time I'll be able to wake up early and join you guys, but right now I really do want some sleep. Uh, most of our streams are later anyways, meaning like eight hours from now. Uh, by then, yeah. you should be awake enough. But yeah, thank you, for, yeah thank you for coming to visit anyways. It's fine, just let me know when you guys are streaming. If, if you guys are streaming a game and or, and or as you want. Have a good night. Well, actually, in my case, it's morning because it's like six o'clock now. Yeah, so okay. I'll see you guys later. Later. It's a. Leave this fallen, killed by either hunter, clan the metal, or some kind yeah. of destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates, Orpheon, Sicaria, Sicarius. And Vol Peregrum were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Brigade Ophirian is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Ophirian's uh, cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are healthy. 
but unrestricted feeding schedules due to uncertain supply status. We are ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit right. from the hunter. Congratulations, yeah. the hunter is here. Yeah. Also, you guys are idiots because you're trying to meddle with things you should not meddle with. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah. Sleep well. Mass 1.2, line 0.5, so sort of stay there. And the other one says... Okay. Not saying anything about its size or length. Though I'm guessing this is the result of it. Oh, and there's a turret up there. So can we get a scan on you? Yes, we can. Is it tries to pelt us? Yeah. On a defense turret, use missiles to break outer casing. We we should have access to those now. Let's see. Or can we just blast you? Nope. How do we? There. <laughs> okay, that homed in apparently because I was not aiming towards it there. What the heck? And also, what did I miss? Hmm? Uh, what did I miss when I was gone? Uh, not too much. Uh, we found a log connecting this game to the previous Metroids. Like, here Zebis has fallen, our ground personnel are dead. Uh, but they managed to, some ships of theirs managed to escape with Metroids in tow. Oh dear. And yeah, the space birds are using Phazon as a mutagen. Malfunctioning turret. Oops. And hello. Parasite okay. lava, harmless until uh, unless encountered in large numbers. Plasmite, native of Talon 4. Okay. Oh. Okay, someone wants out. Solidarity holding phase on level unknown. Status genotropic life form unstable use caution. That is so going to bust out. Or not yet. I just knocked it out. <laughs> what the That's heck? Funny. Yeah, it stopped now. Okay, we will have to keep an eye on that when we come back here, if we come back. This specimen cell structure failing does not match DNA terminating infusion. Okay, so of course the experiment with this one went wrong. Okay, yeah, they were going to toss it out. Trade operational. Okay. Let's see, what have we here? Infusion LS 12.5 increases the asset production in the cell and uh, saliva product of parasite larva. 10.2 Specimens exhibiting credible strength and body mass increase when exposed to phase and fat 732.C. Yeah, they were doing everything to make these things as lethal as possible. Bioform paint tolerance levels at 13% and holding. Yeah, things were not pleasant for these things either. Another, another idiot. Severe internal damage. And I'd say a good part of that is probably cranial damage because he's stupid enough to sit up and try and kill us. You must be pretty hurt in the brain as well. Okay. Let's scan on this. Uh, small energy replenishes 10 units of energy. Simple enough. What are we here? Mission tank 2. Okay. They brought it back. Um, 
hell of a bunch of phase on it seems. And yeah, phase phase on to those that don't know is extremely dangerous. The subject Zoomer. <laughs> okay. Zoomer. Played a parasite larva. Toxic levels of phase on hermetic seal holding. And some sort of firefly war wasp. See? Empty known. Also holding. And also holding. Let's see. The tank. That one. Oh, and someone's shooting at this in the back. Street Panther, okay? Okay, who is dumb enough? You are dumb enough. Okay. So, empty, empty, known. And the heck? Oh, an ice Street Panther. I think these are. I think those are actually in other. in the original Metroid game as well. Those things that. Uh, stick to the ceiling and then dive bomb you. I, I do recognize. And nothing else there. That. That's every here. Why haven't I done more uh, Metroid in this manner? Yeah, they're working on Metroid 4 at the moment. Metroid Prime 4. Oh! Yeah. So, Metroid Dread is a between game. Sort of. Other lifts. Alright. Okay. Biohazards, containment. And yeah, it'll come out on the Switch. Oh. It'll be coming out on the Switch. But, and I, I really hope they allow for motion controls with that as well. That gamma. That's caused by severe lacerations to the cat. No, disemboweled. Yeah. Anything else? It's another platform. Yeah, active. Actually. It's. Yeah, this place okay, has gone to hell in the handbasket, and it, it's telling that things are bad. When the freaking space pirates are sending out a distress call. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of bad. Removal of internal organs. Eaten alive. What the heck? Real way to an open climb on the floor. Well. Space by minimal enemies success. Let's change that. And there we go. And anything else to scan? Because every little bit of information might be useful. Uh, let's see here. It seems I'm being learning something new from this game. Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong. Her main enemies are. Metroid, X, Space Pirate, and now Parasite? Yeah, these Parasites are only for this place, I think. Alright. Luckily enough, these missiles lock on if you are locked on as well. Cars being used to drawing pickups. Yes, this is where I got the idea from that this, you can use the charge beam as a vacuum. It's from the <laughs> it's from the metro uh, from the prime games. Safe station. The uh, acid burns to the face. Uh, severe lacerations and another yeah. Not to be functional, a bomb station. Or a bomb switch. Okay. And now it is active. 
first, though, let's head over here. Yes. I really should... <laughs> I really should train with my arm more, because it's starting to get a bit tired already from having to hold this thing up the whole time. <laughs> and I can... Just scan everything. Save station. To save your game and fully restore your energy. So you, right you want to get you want to visit these things as often as possible. Open up the door. This is an airlock. Well, it's designed like an airlock. And that's a whole lot of bodies. That we can't even go for this. Scan this one. Large amounts of blood missing from the carcasses. They have, may have been used for nourishment. Okay, they've been sucked dry. No life signs. Still contains a heat signature. They have not been here for long. Oh. <laughs> and I walk backwards into a cutscene. Parasite female genetically enhanced by unknown means. Late spot has been detected in this princess's mouth. Use your auto targeting to acquire these new targets. Scans indicate the presence of a potent mutant. In origins unknown, creature exhibits the ability to fire weapons grade blast of energy from its mouth to trade not present in the standard parasite genome. It appears the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Yeah. It's... We do not want to get hit by that, but this reactor that she's hiding in has shielding. So that's going to make things a little more awkward. She can fire through it just fine. Okay, beat up on this then. We can't lock on to this uh, specifically with our missiles, so we'll have to do actual aiming with that. Let's keep moving. No lucky sh oh, we got one lucky shot through there. Only like in a very only a little amount of you know, damage with all of this. Two lucky shots, three lucky shots, four. Wait, how did you think on the other? Did you just trap them down? Yeah, this, this is probably the one that broke free from the, from the broken tank we found earlier. Yeah, things right. are actually being kept easy for us now since this is the first. 3D boss. And there we go. Got the token for that as the thing disappears into the freaking reactor core. Oh well. Come on, give up already. Though, of course, Evacuate we did go inside of the reactor. Evacuate immediately. We need a rush out of here. Oh dear. Because it wouldn't be a Metroid game without something going boom. Okay, the stupid thing. Oh, yep, seven and six and a half minutes. That should be enough, hopefully. Turn it offline. Oh, now the other queen is out as well. No. Not alive for long. Yeah. 
he had died. Seize. Pardon? Forgive him? Up, up, and... Shouldn't you have something better to do than try and die by Samus's hands? This way, I think, if the path is wasn't blocked, that was. We don't have double jumps yet. Okay. Oh dear. And there's still passages. Um, oh, this one's this one came off. Okay. Anything? Oh, crap! Bunch of these things. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, copies of. <laughs> the Metroid game. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, oh, more of the close shits. No time. at the moment, since we are full of health. Oh, no, that's a freaking lot of them. Moving on. Okay, we are starting to get a bit lower on time, so let's just keep running. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> For a moment I thought we were on some sort of elevator, but no. Just keep running. I call it you little. Hurry up. Wrong button. Don't have time for this. Have shot it and went and run through. Yeah, it seems like a wee viper. Why the hell is there a freaking giant piston in the air? Doesn't matter. Run. Three minutes. Open up, open up. This is Arch Nemesis. Uh, come advise your present old Z. G. Uh, get up, get up. There we go. And, yeah, freaking Ridley has to be here of all places. Things are always the more important things to scan. Okay. Uh, 
that is how we are reset to basics. Uh, this way. That way. This place is claustroph <laughs> claustrophobic. That way. Come on, hurry up. It feels like they should have upgraded it to make sure it doesn't happen so often. I think it's more to be a, a function of uh, self-preservation. The super will sacrifice system functions to preserve, oh crap, to preserve the life of the yeah the wielder. Okay. <laughs> what was that That's little it. run? Okay. <laughs> That should give a good say, a good view of how big freaking Ridley is. When he's the size of Samus's freaking gunship. Yeah, but we lost track of him. And <laughs> coming in hard. Oh dear. And yeah, th things are a bit low poly because these, this isn't a remaster or anything, it's just the, the game is re-released and uh, ported to the Switch, if not the Switch, the Wii. It still looks good though. Yeah, it, it's just noticeable in some places, like the face of the Parasite Queen. And well, that lead that was just in view earlier. I said they put most much of the work on the ship and Samus, and maybe slightly less on some environmental areas. Yeah. And we could do this earlier, but we might as well do it now. Hunter class gunship registered the Samus Aaron. Turn to your ship to recharge, reload, and save. Okay. And now it starts. The real game of We got the brains, what have we here? Lycan seems to be giving off low levels of radiation. No matches found in flora and fauna data. And there comes the music. Let's just start exploring, because that's what we're supposed to do in these games. That looks like those plasmites. Okay. Didn't get a scan on them, but well, those will pop up later as well. Saturnine. Small iridescent mushroom typically grows in dank, dark branches. So, in YouTube's comment section. What? <laughs> Guides them for invasive indigenous species of bioluminescent weed. Okay. I guess it depends on the, uh, which YouTuber you read the comments on. Yeah. Sack. Yep, sack. Chemical reaction within sack produces violent explosion with agitated. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly eaten out of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only brave and or indigenous creatures devour to devour it. <laughs> That's one way to protect yourself against predators. Just go all uh, nuclear on them. Okay. I do recognize parts of this. For some reason, my save, the original save of this game seems to have been lost. Not that I'll complain too much because I never got into far due to, well, it is refusing to play. And Zoomer anchors itself to walls and other surfaces to avoid contact with spikes. Basic nerve center is located directly above the Zoomer's mandibles. Uh, 
detects nutrients, sharp spines protected from casual predators, but the lack of a reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. AKA, shoot it. Did I see something out there? Yep. That's a creature? Blast cap. Volatile chemicals within this reed's toxic uh, fungal cap may explode if agitated. Poisonous splash of the blast cap helps keep uh, it from being eaten. It also detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. So, okay, so a lot of the... <laughs> I was expecting it to blow up there. There we go. A lot of uh, Talon Forest fauna seems to be... Uh, yeah, of the type, if I'm going down, you're coming with me. <laughs> okay. What are you? You're a type of Zilmar? You're a, a Gimer, wall crawling mollusk with retractable spikes. The Gimer is an evolutionary offshoot of the Zoomer family. When threatened, it extends lethal spikes and retracts its head deep inside its armored carapace. Okay, so, moving up to sit on my chair again because my back is starting to <clears throat> annoy me. Because, yeah, I don't really have a backrest uh, that immediately throws off. This, yeah, this just shows how uh, twitchy the game can, the sensor bars on a switch can get, on a week can get, when you get too close. Because. Typically, it should would be at about double the length, the distance that I'm at now. Good, yeah. Actually, let's try this one more time, and then I'll just move all the way back against the wall. And put myself in even more of a corner against, uh, <laughs> in the camera. So you're getting cornered? Sort of. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's something about the Metroid games, and I was saying a bit of... <laughs> my voice is reflecting off of this stuff. Maybe we sound... Well, different, I'll say. And, yeah, the, the Metroid games are very immersive in that they... They always have a bunch of this indigenous stuff. Uh, that they actually think out and, well, there's an active ecosystem in the area. It's not just uh, this or that is here because or because we want to. Large friends have forced, been forcibly intertwined, forming what? Okay, someone made a bridge there. And, well, you can also see just all of the effects on the visor. Oh, hello. What are you? Besides her. Blood flower, able to eject toxic spores. Toxins are poisonous even to the blood flower itself. Okay. Three mouse nodules protrude from the stalk beneath the flower. We each with a rudimentary brain, you know, brain cluster and the ability to spew toxic fumes at anything within a five meter radius. The spores ejected from the stigma at the center. The flowers are. Are sufficient to kill this creature if they you know, explode in its vicinity. Okay, so you can again another thing you can get to kill itself. Or actually, let's not stand that. There we go. We shoot its own thing. Okay. Explodes. <laughs> okay, a lot of things you tell them for are going to explode, aren't they? Kinda of concerning. Tangleweed. Plant life with basic sentience. Attracts into ground if threatened. Tangleweeds are only dangerous to small organisms. They are covered in tiny barbs designed to trap potential meals. Tangleweeds lack the strength to do anything more than hinder larger life forms. Basically, they would slow us down. Yeah, they actively slow us down, but we can chase them off for a bit. Okay. 
like stuff like that. They had no need. They didn't. Okay. Oh, this is a missile lord. They didn't need to put in some stuff like that. It's a blast shield on the door blocking access. Uh, vulnerable to beam weapons, explosive weapons, be damaged. I would say it's a sign of very deep respect for their uh, franchise. And in the meantime, these little buggers have respawned. Because life on Town Fortnite, basically every plant that Samus visits breeds like freaking <laughs> rabbits on steroids. The year. Sir. Ow, okay, that that was big enough to set up the ones <laughs> we were next to. Note to self, don't stand next to explosive saps. Shows are ruins west. I'm already getting yep. access to other places. Remove that. Oh, that was a feast. Chicken burger, fries. Mm. Alright. Let's see anything of interest here. And it, it isn't just to find all sorts of neat stuff with the... Uh, with the scan bias, it can also give in, well, useful information about uh, enemies and such, or uh, hints for puzzles. Yeah, I feel like this kind of is missed out on the Metroid Dread. Data received. Abnormal seismic activity detected. Students at ruined sites. Uh, wrong button. Right. Yeah, just. Because the Wii modes are just a stick, it, it, it can be a good bit annoying to have to move your hands to get access to some buttons. Hi, the totem! And, see, and we are that way. Okay, so we are headed this way, but probably not in a completely direct line, since there's no entrance. Uh, here back again. Okay, on the quote-unquote... Oh, it is on the south side. That's, prob that's probably something important, like a boss. Hello there again, you little... Recording to oh, that, that's a nice picture. <laughs> I've been leaping at a freaking face. Beetle, burrowing insect within the resilient carapace, extremely aggressive. Insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through salt rock at high speeds. Above ground, beetles can cover short distance rapidly. They attack anything that moves near their lair. And once you move away, they, well, they piss off back on the ground. And where's the other? There's the other. No real need to grab all the stuff, but still, it's best to keep it topped up, no matter what. Because these games can get tough later on. So I'm hoping that the distance that I'm at doesn't affect my voice quality too much. From what I'm seeing on OBS on my second stream, it is working out with the volume at the very least. And if uh, streaming you know, me games becomes a regular thing for me, I will seek out a way to uh, have a camera move up closer. So probably not my original one that we are all doing this right now, because. I just don't want to move that thing. Mostly because it's a well, it's 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 hanging from a standard that is leaning over a speaker and such, so weighted down. So yeah. All right. I still have a secondary webcam that I used before this one. I could probably set that back. over here. And welcome back. I say this, your voice is fine. If I can hear you, you while doing laundry in my kitchen, 
It's fine. It's fine. So, I don't think you, you should be able to hear yourself echo this time. Okay, that's just an ambient music. And Vink um, is still here, sleeping. And for people wondering, the only laundry I had was a blanket, a blanket sheet, a bed sheet, and three pillowcases. That was it. Okay, that explains why so quick. Yep, it's with underwear. Well, naturally then, yeah, it just takes so long. Yeah, Samus's visor can put uh, Star Trek tricorders to shame with how much it can figure out. Like, I think I've seen a game similar like this, but yeah, even this game outdoes them that had the uh, visor displays. This is probably the best visor displaying I have seen so far. Okay, At least in my memory. Oh, that's an energy tank. Okay, we can't get up there from here, but there is a door next to it. Energy ah, tanks we, we want because those are. Oh, extra health. Okay, first of all, you can get there easily. Just ball up and I will try and kick you out. Oh wait, I just remember how tall Samus is. Yeah, like seven freaking feet. Yeah, and I have to actually remember to say her name correctly for... Did we play another say, Metro game off-screen? And I feel many times I actually said uh, Samus instead of Samus. <laughs> At least it's better than calling her Samuel. Yeah. So if she had a cousin that was Irish, I could see them being Seamus. Yeah, those are war wasp hives. Yeah. We'll be getting attacked from those soon enough, I guess. Okay, I think that yeah, guy once said that Seamus is like a Bob in Ireland, but I'm not sure if he was exaggerating or joking. Scarab, exploding parasites that can embed their bodies in solid rock. Okay. Chaos Link is nothing else sacrificing themselves for the safety of the swarm. When a hostile life form is sighted, they block its progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls, embedded scarabs violently self destruct when threatened. Okay. Okay, okay, now I can see those uh, scarabs. I was saying, you know, they, they look more like trilobites. They drop plenty of energy as well, and we don't have access to the morph hall, so we can't get through there. It's another pass that's blocked. No war wasps. Can we get a scan on those birds? No, they're too far away, and well, they're not even giving the option to. Yeah. Okay, Helia, first of all, you do mean to scan them. I, can't, I know what those are. Birds? Seagulls. This actually resembles a bird-like creature. Well, these are shows are ruined, so I'm guessing it's an, e it's an easy guess as to what they fix. And I should look into the show so for... Okay, I, I doubt this is the case, but if they are actually descended from dinosaurs, I would not be surprised. Okay, there's one more door here. Let's see if we can reach that. No, then again... When I was doing this game, I think it was only still talking about if the dinosaurs and birds were related before it got uh, public. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. It doesn't help if they're sacrificing themselves for the swarm and the entire swarm is doing that. <laughs> Recording to the logbook. Aeon, immobile organisms entirely composed of ocular tissue. Capable of launching sustained energy beams when active, the Aeon uh, is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. So basically, they're entirely high. They're, they're Lovely. Do I, they're, I, they're I, eyes I, that I, shoot I, lasers. I, I, Trying to give the many of the creatures very unique names, at least most of them. Yeah. What have we there? Nope. Uh, no beetles. 
More beetles still. Anyone else? Nope. What is that? Object resides at the end of a high channel in a channel set in the wall. Okay, so that's probably a grapple point. Uh, a hive again. Yeah. Oh! Almost forgot. Uh, happy Halloween, everyone! Or Happy Samhain! Let's see, over here we call it Saint Martin. Uh, uh, to repeat that? Saint, uh, in the Dutch it said Saint Martin, which would translate to Saint Martin or something, or Saint Martin's. Jojo lore. Many, oh! Many long, yeah. Many long I think I know years what main name you mean now. Okay. Many long what? years have passed since we chose our first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the belief of many Chozo sages that the roots of the universe yeah, hide within the tumbling currents of time's flow. Even after we search for answers there, however, we find illumination in other unexpected places. We know not how the ability has come to us, but recently many Chozo have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burgeoning harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps finally the universe's secrets are becoming known to us. Okay, so the Chozo have been going a bit uh, loopy here. Yeah, but not full of people, they say perhaps and maybe, for they are not sure themselves. And yeah, war wasp, airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger capable of searing steel. War wasp rarely stays far from its hive unless it is pursuing an immediate threat. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing its enemy with stinger extended. Fast working toxins from the stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. Are all not that wildlife suicidal? Uh, it looks a bit. And then again, this place is probably pretty uh, harsh on its own. And we can't yeah, well, charge and probably the uh, only thing I've seen that's not suicidal is probably the Zoomer and Gamer. Yeah. Then stone block. Okay, those can be bombed open. But we don't have access to bombs. Structural integrity of metal is stable, no false attacks. Okay, so that can't be bombed. Wait, is that... Oh, I'm guessing those are actually upgrades. I can't actually identify it from here. Is that is that a bomb? It's, Maybe? Uh, that, that, is, that is the same thing that we saw earlier. I think that might be a bomb or missile upgrade. Probably a missile upgrade. And the super bomb upgrades are a lot more rare than those. Anything else to scan here? Doesn't look like it. What is that noise? All water in the area has evaporated. This place went through a drought, and oh, it's more scary. Only translatable symbol detected on the sc in sculpture is the word Chozo. So this doesn't seem to be cameras. There. Petrified organic matter looks like a rock carved into the shape of an eye. So that's a, that's a petrified eon. Okay. Also chose odors. It might just be because of the rather low textures, but I can't tell if those are damaged or not. And there's bugs in the air here. Chose are scratching okay, around in honor of telling stuff. You sound a little bit quiet there. Okay. Get a B. 
beat on you, you get a beat on them. Okay. I think those hives should be destroyable eventually. Only volleyball to a heavy weapon. Yeah, yeah, missiles will probably deal with those things when we get those back. Stress points present in brainstone wall. And that's probably if we can't break that with the beam. So we'll just have to parkour our way over. Hello there. Plasmite, small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attracted to sources of heat thriving on the energy of present there. They emit light when hunting, and it will expel small bursts of thermal energy when threatened. Okay, so they are a nice little uh, light source, but... Yeah, and they'll also try to steal our energy from the light sounds of it. Yeah, and I just realized something about the ion. Yeah? Its name is a pun. Yeah, they got our, their eye on us. Yeah, it took me a moment to notice that. I thought, yeah, it's something about that. I then realized when I thought out in my head that, oh, here's another E and it's a sentence. And yeah, the, the gauge on the left, that's a, a hazard counter. And whatever this is, it's hazardous. Possibly toxic off waste shoot you know, waste of something and okay I I say it's easy to guess where the toxic might have come from with the the, the air all hazed up like this. Drainage possessing traces of high level toxins. Okay, yeah. This is a toxic pit. Elevated brains looks worn but functional. It is so going to collapse on us. Let's not step into the toxins. Anything more here? Should really report some uh, Metroid lore for. I kind of wonder what other species there are, like space pirates, Shoso, and of course we have humans. There's something inside of that machine. I think the most different species or sentient species that you find, or sentient or sapient, I don't really know which would be which, the correct one. I think the most difference you find is in metric brand corruption. Alright. Oh, oh, that's a missile upgrade. Of course. Now we're stuck. Um... Oh. Hey. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Alright. I was expecting something else. Ram War Wasp. Airborne Predator circles its prey and then strikes. War Wasp are the only species on teleport and evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp dark places, Ram War Wasps emerge in small groups with threaten and circle their enemy at high speed. Disorientating it, striking from all sides as a single intelligence they can fill with mutual abilities. Okay! Um, little bastards. I'm sure this is worse than uh, I've got a fault to uh, run coming. And I actually thought about something in the water. Like a. Toxic snake, eel, or fish, or something. <laughs> Did not even think of an angry wasp. Time. You have unlimited ammo, right? Hits. Another. 
think we need a plane thrower. Keep shooting into it. Massive damage. Eventually we'll get some, we'll get some hits. Still sleeping despite all of my jabbering. Hit down to fire, press A to switch back the beans. Missile can destroy some blast shield and doors. There's no yeah, data downloaded to inventory screen. Press 2 to access. Yeah. Now we can get out of here. I do like that it opens up like that. Hello. Energy tank. Nice. So we have double our health. Okay. So let go for a second, dude. Okay. Anything else here? I, I probably could have tried to scan there. I probably should have tried to scan the boss there. But oh well. Uh, I already miss Rom. Yeah, other times oh. uh, we'll be able to chat more with like this. Yeah. <laughs> One meter in diameter. Yeah, that's a more oh. full tunnel. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the trilogy version of these games, and they uh, have sort of semi achievements. In, uh, well, you, you've seen those tokens that have popped up when we beaten bosses and such. Not really sure what those you can use for them in dragon rides, perhaps. 
most of the time achievements are usually in Dragon Right. Yeah, I, I think there might be extra content that you can buy with those tokens. Okay, that's a bit more usually in use of them. I dealt with. Yeah, these wasps are probably not too amused with us destroying one of their main hives. And now that we have the missiles again, we can also get missile pickups again. Resupply some missile launch with three rounds of ammo. And yeah, at the moment we have only access to five at a time, but we'll be able to get supplies of them easily enough. And hello. Map station. Okay. Let's see, there's a little side room over there. There isn't much that we can move, get access to there yet. Maybe from this side? No, that, that is the place where the there was an up that's too high up for us to reach. So we need the more ball to get access to all of this. Okay. Uh, yeah, these games are very well designed in levels, uh, in their, with their levels as well. Because typically wherever you need to go to progress will be accessible uh, with the stuff that you have access, you know, with the stuff that you have. Basically, it's, it's sort of very hard us towards this fight, so we could get the missile launcher, which will open up a lot more. Uh oh. Actually, there's no real need for us to fight these. There are no other doors, so bye bye. How rude of you to poke them in the eyes and. I just realized the show so use uh... Oh blood, I was it called Rebound The metal rods you have in uh, in cementing blocks. Yeah. But I don't know why I'm surprised to see show so using that. I don't know why. Yeah, it is just smart to reinforce one material with another. True. Yes. I guess that means that the rebarb is even useful uh, that far in the future. Or, well, this is a ruin, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. It's a normal one. Uh, oh, hello. Go for space space race, a door is respected from using a bit more stone and such, and not just only metal. Since, well, it'd be expensive. Maybe. Okay, let's not just turn right around and do it going to the same place again. Yeah, actually, when I think about it, I do find it strange that people imagine the future that every building will be made of metal. Metals are pretty pricey. Yeah. So these massive skyscrapers made of solid metal seem rather unlikely. As well, yeah, as I said, it's pricey and we don't have infinite amount of metal. Yeah, you could get a lot of metals from asteroid mining. So that could partially explain stuff like that. True. Though it is also a bit excessive, I do think that in the future we probably still use cementing and such for a better version of it. Oh. But we also try to, yeah, you know, not pack everyone in the same single place and maybe spread out a little bit more. And of course, when we get an upgrade, we need to fight for it. You are still worthy. <laughs> Look at it, they're kind of freaky. 
Yeah, it's a good amount of them as well. But he, you look not as slow. Wait. I'm just meant to go for a ring on the ground. Right there. Oh god, I think I know what they are. They're beetles. They're literally called beetles. Oh, so not Ridley Beetle? Nope. Okay, just call me a beetle and start a bit lazy. Yeah. Well, you can't, you can't always uh, come up with perfect names or even original ones. Last one. Just take Snow Leopard for example. Snow Leopard is not a leopard. If anything, a Snow Leopard should be called Spotted Tiger. And... Nice I don't know. When it detects your abrasions above, it then maneuvers itself. It has to always face its rifle, keeping its exposed abdomen protected. What the heck? Yeah, okay, this is playing bang song. Okay, we'll dance. For a moment, it looked like he was dancing with you. No, they have it. That beetle is a bloody. It's a living cow catcher. Yeah. Or yeah, a weapon that organic. <laughs> oh, shiny! Or, or I was say, a living organic cow catcher. Yeah. Large energy, 20 energy. Oh, let's go get our, let's go get our basketball form back. Yeah, do actually nothing but it. Does cows usually survive a cow catcher? I don't think so, judging by the speed that uh, trains typically go at. I'm sure cow catcher is a proper name then. <laughs> and... That's a better name than a cow impaler. I don't think it would be impaling, you're more like cow rammer. Cow shower. Okay. That's a big ball. Uh, don't take that out of context. But bloody, I'm impressed how well she she looks animation wise all the way back how old this game is. And but actually when I think about it. This game basically you said it came to Wii from Game Boy and no Cube. From the GameCube ported to the Wii in the it's a Prime Trilogy. Uh, that's great. Yeah, I think that's before we started to do anything called Remastered. And I think there have been ports of games before, not just different versions, but actual yeah. uh, moving it from one to another. Yeah, yeah, ports, yes. Not questioning ports. I'm talking about remasters and. Uh, Remakes. Good chance, yeah. Uh, or, of course, yes. HD edition. So there has been things like platinum edition and the gold edition, but I edition. yeah, so they are more like getting a bit more updated games with the latest patches. Since and yeah, I think DLC. maybe DLC yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and when I think about back about big, there was many computer games that not many people knew how to update their games, and you needed to go to a site and all that to fix, to download bug fix and all that, which was rather... Annoying. Yeah. Pain. So I'm kind of glad that games have now automated updates. Fun 
molten choke by overgrowth. Toxin levels are high. Shows your lore. Oh! Surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed yeah, our expectation. We chose or have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is see that away and wait for a day when a power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible to collect all, to collect all the pieces of the great poison as it has already spread, seeping into the planet and hardening. Yeah. Just to add a bit of that, the great poison, that's phase on. Where? No structural weaknesses. One last look. We have the glow bugs. And we have got the poison. Obsidian level is critical. Contact and attack with contaminated water extremely hazardous. Yeah, this is diluted phase on. Not so it's into it. But I guess. So it's not only poisonous, it's extra poisonous. Yep. The only thing that makes it not mutagenic in this case is the fact that uh, well it's mostly water. It's, it's contaminated it's water contaminated with phase on. Okay, so it's it's a bit weaker then. Yeah. Okay. Still dangerous enough to eat straight through Samus's armor. Oh, so it's very corrosive. Yeah, not corrosive specifically, but we we do not want to be inside of it, no matter what. Uh, yeah. And I am impressed by Shoshu's stone work. Then again, we are still trying to learn the cementum recipe the Romans and Greek used. Let's see, toxin levels near ninety percent in local water supply. Yeah. Oh. The time of prophecy draws ever closer. It's said that when the plants wilt and the creatures change and all life fades, the newborn will descend from the sky. Okay. It shows you have a thing with prophecy, and I guess it doesn't mean that when you're getting visions, you're going to start making prophecies sooner or later. When the cave flows, the Hatchling will walk a poison path to the source. Bloody heck. I wonder how old these ruins are. Very. Yeah, nope. and since they use Reborn, if they know how to make proper cement, like, again, Greek and Romans have cementing, have cementing paste long before us, and they, their structure made of their cement is still up. While our cement we use on roads and buildings, especially the roads ones, we need to regularly change that. Oh, street bounce. Oh yeah. When you, if we go to go to Rome or Greece and look at the ruins, that's lost technology that we're trying to regain. Same for Damascus steel. Yeah, but, but we're getting close to it maybe, but still a bit of uh, not fully sure if this is the case, uh, right or no. Uh, right or no. Yes or no, I mean. Reaper Vine, powerful rock dwelling tentacle. A single eye upon the Reaper Vine keeps a constant vigil, but its vision is limited to 10 meters. A scythe like appendix on its tip is honed to lethal sharpness. The Reaper Vine will swing its blade wildly at anything that enters its zone of perception. Okay, that's terrifying! Yeah. yeah that's what you get when uh, you let the Westerners have a look at the tentacles. It doesn't end up in hentai, it ends up in slaughter. What's the... What's the... Helium? I think I know where you're you going. Me... In... Are you Nintendo... telling me you're playing my Metroid? Retro Studios is... Uh, yeah. It isn't... Uh... Nintendo is Japanese, but Retro Studios... I'm not spe sure specifically where they're from, but it's not uh, Japan. Okay. So yeah, the Metroid Prime games were made primarily uh, by Westerners, if my memory is correct. And hello. I guess we can look that up later. 
Runic symbols. Four runic symbols in this room must be activated. Okay. We will have to look around for the others. What happened here? Overwhelming toxin levels have brought it all wheat. Yeah, we'll want to clean this place up if we can, because I'm pretty sure the Chozo aren't around anymore as well due to the, all of the toxins. Uh are the shows on extinct race currently? Pretty much. Ruined War was Hive. Resource for insects, the destruction of the hive will not deter the survivors from rebuilding a new home. Surviving War was will defend new sites with their lives until the hive is complete. Okay, so that's how they that's how they explain the hives respawning even after you destroy them. Oh dear. And that, no, I have to say, if you just Pairing race that spread out like shows it seems to do. It feels like the extinction is either easy or hard. Uh, they were mostly pacifists, so yeah, it, it wouldn't exactly be easy to kill off a bunch of them, but it would be easier than yeah, a, a species that would actively uh, go for weapons research. Yeah. Vast portions of three cellular structure have been consumed by toxin distributed through water source, source water. Uh, sandstone, yeah, we we need bombs to destroy those. It's Rich sandstone. This is some quality sandstone. Okay, two more to go. Okay, that was a lucky landing there, and uh, what is this? Look. Oh. Shoot. I'm surprised that this is sandstone, for... Sandstone is not very durable for long periods of time. Now, not everything in this place is sandstone, it's mostly those blocks that are blocking the path. And before people say the pyramids, pyramids is not made of sandstone, if I remember right. I, oh god, maybe you remember this better than me then. Ain't the pyramids made of uh, granite? Uh, let me think. But, um... I feel like I recall uh, it being made of granite and marble. And yes, pyramids used to be very shiny white, but... Yeah. People keep stealing them. Yeah. I, I think it was granite on the lower end of what is... Well, granite is what is now left visible, and marble was put on top of that. Yep, the... the no, wait, no. The granite, marble, that on the very top, they had a gold, bronze, something on the very tip. Yeah, a capstone. It's yeah, how are as people? I mean, I should uh, probably figure out Starland. It's yeah. probably very obvious that if you see a building with gold or any shiny metal on top, that someone, so any invading force is gonna go and grab it. Yeah, and sometimes it was even Pharaoh stealing from other pyramids to uh, put stuff on their own. Yeah. So yeah, that doesn't set much of a precedent when you were stealing your ancestor's uh, tomb to make your own. You can yeah, fully expect probably... it to happen to yourself as well. Yeah, I don't think it was even just <laughs> so fast. I think it was oftenly it happened. Probably depends on the era in which it was done. Yeah. Also, a fun little fact that people have might have run across on the internet before already. Uh, Cleopatra oh. lived closer to modern times than to the time that the first pyramids were built. That makes that sense. Tell for... you how freaking old those things are. Yeah, and people in that tons of researchers that they may realize that the Sphinx is older than expected, maybe. I think the last symbol is up there. I can't reach that, actually. Though, 
and we have to look up in the swings or sure i'm i accept that they are let me discover how it's more older than expected but also some things that i am 50 50 about or unsure like interesting theory but unsure i believe them fully like that it has water damage Like, if you look at the, the Sphinx at the lower legs area, it seems to have had water damage, like it has been flooded once. This sure, it has... There has been some mad things that look like the areas could have been... Uh, have a, a massive flood once. But the question is, was the flood really during the Sphinx time or way before? Or if you uh, at all? And if the flood is true, and considering its size, unless they, they, again, this is a bit of conspiracy area, so I'm not fully believing it uh, fully. It might be in one of the areas that they wiped out where people think Atlantis was in Africa. Okay. Just a lot of things going on there. And what the heck? Shriek bats. Territorial ceiling dweller. Body temperature peaks at 120 degrees centigrade. Shriek bats have high internal temperature, making them easy to spot with thermal imaging. They roost on the cave ceilings when, while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive from anything that wanders near. I'll uh, let's send a bomb up to meet them in turn. It's supposed to be like uh, you may soon start to want to move your mic closer to you. <laughs> Okay. If, yeah, this is a test stream and everything. Uh, yeah, for actual uh, full-on streams of this, I'll probably put uh, the, uh, the microphone and a different webcam on the box next to the bed here, where my Legos are currently standing. And once I'm showing off, at least. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll that'll, uh, that'll give an up closer view than just the little corner that I'm in now. Well, at least it's a good uh, test stream. Yeah, and Ram got to show up. Yeah, even even short time. It was nice being to this joint for a bit. Save station. Hopefully he can be part of uh, Summer's streams a bit longer in the future. And yeah, these the Sunday streams are a lot earlier. So normal streams he should be able to join if he can when he can. If he oh. miss those. And then I still miss a few. Okay. The, the species can't really survive for too long. If if they, if they miss during an attack, they die. Great poison comes from Talon's core. That which follows the water seeks the sun. Then the distractor is going off because I've said it for 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. to remind me daily. Don't touch. It's impressive that all of this is still standing, but it is obviously still falling apart. Composition detected host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. Okay. Yeah, some things will, of course, still adapt. Oh, hello, Reaper Vine. It's... Can I wonder if some of the plant lives are mutated due to this thing? Phazon is a mutagen, so we'll probably 
encounters new data species later on. Now at least we are only dipping our toes into uh, the effects of the phase. I'm, I'm possibly wondering if it uh, haven't already happened. Like, think about it. Many plants here are suicidal, along with some animals. That's a, that's doesn't seem, seem like it should happen that the men animals will go to the silo route. Okay, that's a dried up passageway. It stops ringing. We need to hit the eye on those things, otherwise they won't react. Let's see, where are the other? Symbols. There's one. That yeah, probably means that the other two are in the other half of the room there. Still a good idea to just look around and be certain. And there's one. That is too far. Come on. Okay, where is the last one? I guess we couldn't find the last one previously, though I think it's okay. that's because it's behind a bunch of bomb blocks. Wrong button. Come on. And yeah, if we aim somewhere long enough while standing still, then Samus should bring her. Yeah, there we go, her other hand in. To ease up the aiming. Where is that last one? Oh, there it is. And that opens up the door. They call those rooms? Yeah. Hey. I look more hieroglyphic. Oh. Clipic to me. Then again, I should probably look up what makes a rune and what makes a glyph and all that. For sometimes I wonder. What? I think with glyphics it's more that it's uh, depicting uh, an object or a thing. Runes are more like uh, letters, I think. Yeah. Yeah, do. I feel like that there's many games and novels that misuse both heavily. Hello, what are we here? Ah, the charge beam. And this time without a boss fight. Let's see. Disaster struck recently. We had a vague dark foreboding. Uh, and Recent? Truth. Uh, we, a meteor appeared from nowhere. Casting a dark show of debris over the land with the violence of its impact. Destructive force spent, the fallen star burned itself out rapidly, and the instant should have faded into memory. But, uh, not, not interesting that way. Uh, skip over it. All right. The fallen star burned itself out and rapidly, the instant should have faded into memory, but the meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth uh, into the land, a strange energy that clawed at natural light with the ferocity. A strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded to encompass talents, talent for in a night, as a spider weaves a web. Yeah, Phazon is oh. extremely dangerous. And now we can charge up our shots again. I noticed you read one word wrong. Would that be? You read recently when it said suddenly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I have a bit of a distance here from the screen as well. Yeah, it's sort of same meaning, just, well, a bit wondering how the heck did that misreading happen? It's, well, still sort of correct in a weird way. Blast, blast cap. 
and the ink is up and off she goes. Now she's just scratching at herself in the middle of the room. And I did a 180 whilst I was looking away. <laughs> Waits, yeah, awaits you in a sacred hall. There we go. Need some expansion, so now we have double of what we had before. Now you have to keep an eye out for walls that seem like they've taken damage. Well, more damage than the rest. Let's see, we can't, but we can get up through here, up north of these. And of course, I again miss only one. And now we can use the vacuum and feature. And now I have to get up and open the door because I think it's probably going to start to no Actually, no, she's just going to lay down next to the door. And sorry for again spinning us around a bunch. Not even complaining, she's just laying right next to it. There we go. The charge beam is really useful because it deals more damage than the single shots would do in the same time. The trouble is, of course, getting it to hit. And it does about... A I think they do about the same damage as a missile. Again, a soul survivor. So is there anything else up here to scan? Oh, we should probably head to, to a safe room where we can find one. And hello. What's over here? It looks important. <laughs> Let's not get stuck in the freaking door. Anything to scan here? Because the Chozo like lining their walls with prophecies and fortune cookie stuff. More of the eye beams. Laying down next to their freaking door, not, not even trying to get it open or something. <laughs> yeah, lazy can't be lazy. And now she's starting to complain. I think something just fell somewhere in the hut. What fell was probably someone's lunch after spinning again, and now she's back in the place she was sleeping earlier. Uh, and now she's just looking annoyed at me. What? <laughs> if you want out, just go <laughs> tap at the door or something. I think she gets annoyed at you doing live commentary of her. Strong hive presence within this region. And put her right. Okay. Okay, that's something I'd it... Okay, oh, that's not what I want. At times the game will just point you towards where you'll need to go next. And, uh, yeah, they still got hit. Not sure if that's tied to anything. Uh, the heck are you? I thought it was a statue at first. Stone Toad. Praise and creature smaller than itself, vulnerable only from within. Stone Toad is able to remain still for days. It preys upon creatures smaller than itself and aiding them whole. Anything it finds indigestible, it regurgitates. Stone Toads use their tusk as last resort in combat. Okay, we'll have to 
We'll need bombs to get rid of those things. And if we rolled in front of it as the morph ball, it would have swallowed us up. Yeah, that said, only vulnerable from the inside? Yep. Yeah, so... Wait, does she have any offensive powers at all? Yeah, there's bombs. Oh dear. And since Ink is going back to the sleeping spot, I'll just pull back if it's... Oh, okay. hello. Mechanoid incinerator drone, program for high temperature waste disposal. Device schematics indicate a high risk of malfunction when internal power core is damaged. The unit has minimal combat programming and defend itself when necessary. This drone's intense heat blasts uh, compensate for its lack of power prowess. So basically, let's not get hit by this thing. Um, it's not really a show to tech. But there it is. <laughs> That looks almost more like a human tech to me, although something a space pirate may use. Oh, but it, it, it's up there freaking high, so now the, oh, now the wasp are annoyed with those things as well. And now it's changing up its tactic a bit. The door is locked. Locks is not engaged. Yeah. This is a new type of wasp. And again, we're getting. The image right as they sting out, about to sting us. Warp, warp. Airborne units have the ability to launch its stinger at prey. A highly impressive member of the war wasp family, this instant can promptly upheld the tip of the stinger up to 20 meters. The stinger tip regrows seconds after launch and contains an acidic compound designed to digest prey. We digest, but alright. Ew. Ew. Crap. We just have to wait until this thing overheats itself. Then we can start blasting at it again. You think there's the one pacifist, right? Yeah. That doesn't mean they wonder. don't uh, have ways to defend themselves. And there it goes, hitting the freaking hive again. <laughs> yeah, that's that concern. Okay, there it goes in the wasps again. That's actually now that we have a few more missiles. Okay, that's the dodge that one. There we go. And that Now we can get rid of those sandstone blocks. Bloody heck. Alright, no other passages here. Oh, actually, there is this here. Is that great hole? Yes, it is. So there we go. And find ourselves another missile object. Each of those will add up five more. Yeah, the, no wonder. Where's the nearest save station? Uh, let's have a look. 
Yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah, getting to that point of time soon. Okay, there it is. It's marked with an S. So we'll be able to get there easily enough. Especially if we're rolling around, because we are quite a bit faster in the morph ball, I think. Because we get a lot more momentum. And if we can use the morph ball to jump up like that. We'll need to do that here as well. There we go. Bye bye. Yep. We do not want to roll into the freaking acid. Okay. That way. Which is your health, by the way? Uh, up top, the, the bar, and with the 82 next to it. Alright, so that is the, the health bar, alright. Yeah. A block means that there's another bar left still. And then from here... Okay, to the left. I believe that you can get fall damage in some places, but I'm not too sure. And there we go. And then I'll move forwards again, and annoying ink by moving, apparently. Okay, <laughs> yeah, she, she's just going to passive-aggressively wash herself there. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need to find a way to support my back a bit better than the freaking wall. Probably pull up my pillow for that. And, uh, oh, hello there in the chat. Uh, sorry, I've... Okay, you've been around for quite a bit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I, I should have kept my phone with the chat active uh, next to me. Sorry about that. Should have thought of that earlier. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let, let's see. Uh, let's first stop that. Like, again, the closer this thing is to the sensor bar, the more it goes all over the place. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, Sturkio15 uh, in chat, uh, hey, uh, yeah, that boss sure looks uh, epic. Uh, so it's the remaster or the original? Hmm. Gonna have to go, have a great time. Tim Hill? Eh? Uh, that's, if that's a reference, I don't get it. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, the emul no, that's not an emulator. The capture card works perfectly with this. The only little issue is that the resolution doesn't fully fit in uh, with OBS. That's why there's a little bar on the a little black bar on the left there. I could probably move the screen around a bit to try and get it to fit better. Um, but I'll have to do that on my own time. Actually, that might be. Perfect there. Hmm. Let's check. Uh, so we menu, yes. Let's see. It should show now if the bar is on the side. Okay, that doesn't help that this also has the bars on the side. So yeah, I'll have to I'll have to figure or have to fiddle around with things a bit. Well, yeah, otherwise, I'd say this is a very, uh, a very successful uh, uh, stream. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I am thinking about uh, streaming Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3 eventually, though Metroid Prime 2 is a bit known for be being really hard in some places, like unfairly so. So we'll have to see about that because I'm I'm not amazing with these games. I'm because but it has been over a decade since I've played Metroid uh, Prime uh, Corruption. But we'll have to see that in time. For now. We can confirm that the emulator works, bleh, the capture card works well with OBS. Luckily enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anything you'd like to add? Well, not much. It, it looks like a great game. 
Yeah, the, the Metroid Prime games are considered classics. To my knowledge, at least. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't have many Wii U games, but I do have a bunch of Wii games that might pop up every eventually. Maybe even on Saturday with uh, yeah Mario Party or something. For GameCube games, though, I'll, I'll probably have to resort to an emulator since the Wii U isn't backwards compatible with it. Or I'll have to dig up the Wii, but that doesn't have an HDMI connection, so I'll have to fi I'd have to figure something out. I think I did get an adapter at some point for those old systems. We'll have to test on how many that will work. But for now, yeah, I have nothing left to add. Getting a bit of a headache, though. Possibly, probably from leaning against a fritting wall. Yeah, it, that can happen if you don't uh, sit comfortably. So, yeah. Uh, even though he left, uh, thank you for yeah, uh, no, thank you for participating, Rom, and thank you for uh, in the chat with uh, Sturkio fifteen. And as always, special thanks for you, Dakir. Well, you're most welcome, my friend. And uh, I don't think Ink would be too appreciative of uh, my thanks as well. So uh, let's just leave her be. And yeah, anyone else who has been watching now or later, thank you as well. And yeah, Tuesday we'll be continuing with Dishonored. Next week, probably back to showcasing four games as usual. Unless, uh, actually, yeah, if, if Ron was too sleepy for some reason, uh, now he'd likely be next week as well. So we'll have to see when we can stream with him added in as well. Uh, probably not yet on the main games. Uh, on the main week's streams, but we'll have to see. For now, though, as usual, until then, until then. Hey, say, folks!